Okay, the well, sound should be fixed, I'm hoping. So I reset this up, my Larry, expanded it. Got some shoots to add, but I figured out how to make it print, or print seed. You see it's loading the seeds. I had to use two separate chips. Basically, this is the same one that I put over there. But this one is for seeding. And the way I have this, it takes priority, seeding does, because I didn't want both of these telling the Larry to do something at the same time. And I'll explain that in a minute, and we'll see. There it goes. I do have it pausing 12 seconds. Again, that's an experimental thing. Towards the end, I did have a problem down here where it went from this end to that end. I didn't have enough time. So apparently you do have to make it sleep or load the idle setting. This is all experimental to me, so. But there you go. It's sensing there's an empty. And then uh, I can show you that. Uh, well, let me finish it first. The row lights just went off. So now this one's sensing, yeah, there is an empty um, hydroponics device. So it says, okay, pause. And then it, this one activates and it seeds. Now that this is, there is no empty hydroponics devices after this. It's kind of a long pause. I'm like, well, this, now this one is running again and this one stops. So which one do I have called up here? Let's look at this. Okay, this is my seeding one. Now, this is where I have it sleeping. Just in case the other one is doing something, I could probably take that out. Um, I may experiment with that. I could probably go down to 10, though. Um, it's, then it checks to see if any of the slots are occupied and if they're not, and I couldn't know because I have to identify which which slot to go to. So, yeah, R1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if it's occupied. If it's not occupied, it's going to return a value of zero. So, if it equals zero, then do AXOI 1. And this tells it to go to setting 7, which in this case is the output shoot sleeps 10 to wait for it to get there activates it and this doesn't have to be five this could be two uh after every activate so i'll fix that it activates it sleeps two goes to setting one because this is soy one and then activates sleeps two and then jumps back to start and the whole process starts over again so our the second one should be two I don't need it to sit there for five seconds. Two. Hunger caution. Two. I've been playing with this for quite a while. It's a lot of fun. Two. Confirm. Okay, let me pull this. Get the error. Export it. Put it back in. So now this is just going to sit here idle. And let me... I could do this real quick. Import. This one's big. And I tried to put this all in one chip and it wouldn't fit. Now, certainly a better programmer would be able to get this all to fit, but I'm at uh, 107 lines just with the seating part. Now, I could take some of these out, of course, but so, and I guess this is pretty much the same. Uh, checking this to see if any of them in this case this is where I added this to get it to uh, go, just jump to start so this is loading R0 if any of them are not occupied then it jumps back to start so it's going to sit here and wait until the seeding program is finished when they're all occupied then it's going to continue on. That's the only thing I I changed here. I, I probably should put this grow light sensor above that, but that's okay. Um, and then this is all the same. 
Um, I haven't messed too much with the, the pause times. It seemed to be working. Um, I'm not sure if some of these, when it has to travel the longer distance, in other words, from 7 to 1, that would be up here. So soy 1, this is the longest distance. So it has to, well, 6 is the export slot, so or the import slot. So traveling from setting 1 to 6 is the longest time. So 10 seconds seemed to work. I, I shortened it a little bit, but I may have to watch that. Uh, but there you go. And I'm going to continue more into this later. Uh, but this is all set up. Now I'm going to bring in my my wheats and set those up. It's kind of clunky. And uh, I guess there was a workshop example, which I saw online. I, I didn't load it. It looked pretty clunky there, too. And I actually think this is a little bit better than their clunky version. So basically, I got a a sorter here, back here. And I have that if it's right now, if it's soy seeds, and that's not hooked up. So I got to make sure I have did print the shoots for that. Because I just manually, yeah, this is the import pen. So when it, when it puts the actual vegetables in here, you got to be careful how to do this. You cannot put shoots or anything else under the rail. I found that out. I had to move this all over one because I had shoots under the rail. It will not let you do that. So there, that's completely shooted up now. So, when it drops, the, this is the import bin. The import shoot, I should say. You can see it right there. When it drops anything in there, it's going to go into the sorter. If it's a seed, it's going to come out the sorted side, stack it to one, and put it in the export bin, which it just loaded from, as I, as you were seeing earlier. Oh, I need, nope, this is, this is all done. If it's a vegetable, in this case soy, it's just going to chuck it right over here into the freezer, or the refrigerator, vending machine. And uh, there you go. So that is a complete now start to finish. I don't have fertilizer in here. I don't use fertilizer very often. Um, hey, I probably have to add a whole another row here. I, could, I have room for it. If I really wanted to do fertilizer, all I would need to do is extend the rail to here, put another export chute, and see if it's fertilized. But I don't use fertilizer that often. As long as everything is thriving, yeah, you might get a little bit more. But you don't get that much more. But there you go. Um, this is now waiting for these to come to see, to uh, seed. And then it'll put the seeds in here and they'll go into the stacker, like I said. So that is a complete loop from start to finish now. Um, I will not have to touch this ever again <laughs> it'll just keep as long as everything works right like i said if it's going from slot six to slot one 10 seconds i think that'll be enough i'm not sure but uh as you can see and if you look at the larry workshop example it's actually probably a little clunkier than this they definitely use more shoots with the exception of that, because I don't think they had that in there. But they definitely used more shoots, and I like this setup better. Um, thing to keep in mind... Oh, there is an issue here with the export... Or the... What is this? Yeah, the export bin. If you put the export bin down, connect it to power, and turn it on, you'll get red errors flashing up your screen like crazy. Uh, you can get rid of that by attaching a single shoot to it. So if you don't have a shoot attached to your export bin, when you turn it on, expect to get a bunch of errors. Oh, if you put one shoot on it, it stops it. Uh, it accepts some kind of exception error. But I was like, oh crap. Uh, and then I just put a shoot on it and turned it on, it worked. So that was kind of silly, but... Alright, so now... 
I'm going to move my wheat up here. And I think in the long run, this whole area is going to make greenhouses bigger. Um, see, the, the question I have, I might be able to... There's a way to connect these, but I don't know what happens if you have colliding Larry's. But see now, because I have the export bin, well, I could put the export bin here and do a junction. But then now I don't have room for the import. Or well, the import chute can go here. Where am I going to put the export chute? Because now I don't have room for it. Maybe I, can, maybe I have to slide all the way down to the end, I guess. So, putting a second row in here is going to throw a little bit of a wrench into the system. Unless I just skip all that and put my wheat way over here. It's kind of a waste of space. I'll have to think about that. Maybe I can use the corners and have it come around a corner and go over here. In the long run, I don't, if I just keep five seeds in here and don't put any more seeds in, it doesn't really matter if this becomes a wheat or a soy seed. And I'm thinking out loud because um, it's not going to matter much. I'm, I'm just going to have to set up another row and then figure out this end of it because um, it adds stuff. So I could put the import bin here and put a junction on it. The export bin is going to be the question. I'll figure it out. Okay, so there you go. I'm going to put this on today's video. This might just be all for today. It's just uh, kind of cool getting this to work from start to finish. Um, is this the long one? And I have a question. the long one or the short one yeah that's the long one but what happens it's okay because if it's the occupied zero send send it in a loop so until the seeding is completely done this is just going to sit here yeah that should work my my problem with this that i had to sit and think about is i have two things talking to larry how do i tell one not to talk to one if Larry is busy. And that's kind of what I did here by bypassing it. If, if it's not occupied, then seed it and then go from there. Because seeding is a shorter uh, loop than harvesting because harvesting has to take five or six times so say if it harvests this one finishes it then it's going to sense well soy one's empty so it's going to stop using this one and go to the seeding one it'll reseed soy one and then all of them will be occupied then this one will take over again so kind of tough to figure that out <laughs> okay i hope the sound is better i figured it out i i think I am good now, um, we shall see, because I did a test one before this, yesterday's video, or the audio was horrible, and I apologize for that, and I left all the settings the same, so I don't know exactly why it did that, but this one, from what I, my test video sounds much better, so there you go, I'm just going to label this one, Larry from seeding to harvest. And uh, I don't see why this wouldn't harvest correctly because it worked over there. I did expand the times a little bit. So this one has, it's still six junctions. Although I set it up different this time to make more sense. I left an extra space. So junction zero is the home base of the, uh, the Larry. I keep calling it Harvey, I think. So that made it more sense to do that because now I got junction one, soy one, junction two. It made it a little bit, uh, make it a little bit more sense. And then soy five, and then I went to junction six being the 
import bin and junction 7 being the export bin made it a lot more easier of a flow. Uh, one thing I did notice, kind of getting sidetracked, but unfortunately, because I have five devices here, I actually have to have two lights, and I can disconnect the, oh no, I can't, I can disconnect this one, save some power, you saw my power issue yesterday, <laughs> I haven't addressed that yet, um, but everything is turned off out there, so, um, you do have to use two grow lights, because you get seven spaces, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least, at least one, probably two, not covered, so you have to use two grow lights, which I don't understand why you have to, you can't put devices together. I think they should fix that. Doesn't make any sense to me. Might have been a Harvey thing, but you could certainly do it here, because I could just change that rail into a station. So maybe they'll change that. It's a shame to have to waste all this extra space. It would be a lot more compact. I didn't have to put all those pipes in there. But anyway, there you go. Um, let me know what you think. Hopefully the sound is better. Um, I do apologize for the sound yesterday. I just assumed since it was good the day before, that it would be good that day, the next day, but it wasn't. So before every video now, I'm going to do a test video and test the sound and make sure I don't drive you guys nuts. <laughs> all right, you have a good one again. Navy Old Salt Gamer, please subscribe and like. Leave me feedback of what you think of this. Um, there's certainly a better way to program it, but this is understandable for me, and I, I, that's what I really want. Um, each time I program something, I go a little bit further. I use slots this time a lot more. So each time I program, I advance it a little bit. Maybe I'll look at the works shop one um the video i saw i mean yeah the code works but what good is the code working if you don't understand anything that's happening and uh, it didn't seem a whole ton shorter so uh that's it you have a good day